Hey guys, welcome back to the fourth video of our interview series. In this particular video, I have taken a problem that was asked in Uber. I will help you to understand the problem and give you the step by step approach to solve it. And I also have one challenge for you guys. So make sure you watch this particular video till the end to understand how to solve this particular problem. All right. So today we have a question distance travel. This was asked in Uber and as always, we'll try to understand this question and solve it. Okay, this is pretty easy question. But again, this is a beginner series and we will go from beginner level to advanced level step by step. So I'm picking right now like easy questions so that you guys can understand it. And I will also like pick some of the different topics inside the sequel. So while doing this question, you will also learn about some of the new topics. So that way you will also get the hands on experience and you will also get to learn new things on the way. So let's get started. We will start by understanding the question. So the question is given the table. OK, so they have given us the two tables, users and rights. Write a query to report distance traveled by each user in descending order. That's pretty straightforward, right? We have a user table that has like ID name. We have the rights table that has ID, passenger user ID, distance. So if you look at this, uh, it should be pretty clear that this particular pass passenger ID can be joined onto this particular ID. So let's try to do that. Okay, let's try to understand what do we have inside the table. So users, okay, let's query this table and let's see what do we have. So we have a lot of different things. Uh, they have only uh, told the like, major things such as ID and name. But as we can see, we have like ID, username, name, uh, sex, address, mail, birth date, created and a lot of different columns. I mean, these columns are not uh, needed. That's why they did not put it over here. But you get the idea like uh, data might contain multiple columns, but we are mainly interested in the main column that will get us the final answer. Now let's do the same with the rights. So rights and let's run this query and inside the rights we have passenger user ID, then start date, end date. This is the rights. Okay. So when you take an Uber or Ola, right? Uh, you book a cab and each and every uh, ride will have like passenger ID who is sitting there. Then when was the trip started? When was the trip ended? The distance cover, it can be in kilometer or whatever uh, unit. Then we have like a region and is completed. If it is not completed, it might be zero. Again, pretty easy to understand this particular table. So let's try to understand the problem first. So we have a users, right? So users will be one user. So let's say uh, your username is single. So it will be uh, unique across all the table. It will not be repeated. So ID for that particular user. So if there is a username as the shield, then I will have some ID and that will be unique across the table. But one user can have multiple rights. So inside the right table, we might have like one user having multiple rights. So what they are telling us is to calculate the overall distance traveled for that particular user. So that means if we go and let's look at the rights table and let's pick uh, one user, which is a uh, passenger user ID uh, where let me just scroll this. Yeah, where passenger user ID is equal to 31. Let's look at uh, what the 31 user has. So as you can see, this particular user ID, which is a 31 has taken multiple rides in his lifetime. OK, it might be he or she, it doesn't matter. But as you can see, we have like multiple rows and these are each individual rights. So this is like one right, then second right. And as you can see, these are like total distance. So four, six, 26, four and stuff like that. Now, what they are telling us is to calculate the overall distance, which is basically summing this distance four, six, 29, four. Then these are the null values, one, 18, all of these things by individual user ID and then sort it based on the descending order. So now we understood the problem. What we need is for each and every user ID, we want to calculate the total distance. Now we also understood that so one user, there might be multiple rights. If user has never used any rights, then it might be zero. So it doesn't matter. Now let's try to work on the solution and what, we'll, what we will do, we will use same as always users as you. And now we will use the join. Now in this case, we can use like there are multiple joins available. If you know the basics of SQL, we have inner join, right join, left join, and then full outer join and all the other things. So in this particular case, we will use left join. Okay. So let's write this left join on rights R on, then we have view dot ID is equal to R dot passenger user ID and semicolon. Let's run this particular query and let's see if we get any error. 
and let's see yeah we got all of the data from the users and the rights now you might have the question why we used left join and why we did not use inner join or any other join now that is a task for you guys so if you know the basic sql then you might know the answer but if you don't know what i will suggest you to go read any blog to understand the basics of join and give me the answer why did i use left join rather than using inner join or something else so in the output they're asking is the name okay the passenger name and the distance traveled so we will try to build this particular solution so for the passenger name we can get it from the user table so that is u dot name okay so let's run this and let's see if we get any error or not okay so we get all the users so as you can see we are getting like multiple names because one user have multiple rights so that is the reason we are getting multiple names so we will figure it out how to deal with it and the second thing they are asking is is the distance travel so distance travel is pretty simple as we already talked about sum now let's copy or oh, not this let's copy this distance which is coming from rights okay and let's give this name as distance travel let's run this and let's see what happens oh so we are getting this output and again if you have been following the this particular interview series you will know why this happened it's because we did not use group by this is giving us like the complete aggregate version without the group by but if we use group by u dot name See, you, you can use u.name and just run this query and you will get the final output or you can use this particular thing one. Okay. And it will also give you the same output. It doesn't matter. Sometimes what happens, we have like a lot of different columns over here, let's say 10 columns or 11 columns. So you prefer writing uh, something like this one, two, three, four, rather than using the column name. Uh, it is much easier to do that. But again, it depends on the person to person, how they want to write the query. Now, it doesn't matter what you use. You, you can use u dot name or you can use the number such as one, two, and like that, the column number, it will give you the same output. And now let's try to run this and we will get our output. So we have like a lot of different things coming over here. As you can see now for this, this particular Georgie, we have like null because it might have not uh, taken any rights. That is the reason we are getting null. But we might have some other users, they have like taken some rights and these are the total distance. So pretty cool, right? So we are still left with the one thing, which is sorting these things in descending order. So we will do that, which is order by order by we can use two or we can also use distance travel. Let's use two for now and let's write descending order and run this particular query. And as you can see, we are getting everything in descending order the way they have asked. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now let's try to submit the solution and let's see what we get. Okay. We get the error and what is the error? Can't find the solution for row in your output. Let's try to understand why did it fail? Okay. Let's try to understand. This is the output for the test cases. This is our output and this is what they are expecting. So this is matching like 22, 9, 8, 5. Okay. These, all of these things are matching, but one thing that is not matching is James, okay, Kane, which is basically distance travel is zero, but we are outputting it as null. Now, how to deal with this particular thing? That is pretty simple, okay? There is one concept in the SQL called as colesis, okay? Now, if you don't know colesis, I mean, uh, this is, it is pretty uh, simple to understand. Uh, this is the W3 school website. So, colesis function returns the first non null value in a list. Now, what does that mean? Basically, what this function does is it will check all the different values and it will print first non null value. That means in our case, if I use this function, colleagues, okay. And if I, let's say, write in our case, we want zero and just run this particular thing. You will see wherever we had like null values, it will print zero. Now let me try different values instead of one, let's put like minus hundred and let's run this. And as you, again, you will see wherever we had like null values, it will replace it with the, whatever the value we put afterward, which is minus hundred. So that's pretty cool, right? Something new. If you are a beginner, this particular function, you will be using a lot, uh, in the real world. You, you might have to replace that null value with the proper value based on the business logic. Now let's try to submit the our solution. And as you can see, bingo, our output is exactly matching what they are expected. So let's summarize our entire solution. First, we understood 
the tables okay the user tables and the rights table then we started understanding the reason for the join that is a challenge for you guys to tell me like why did we use the left join rather than using the inner join because there is a reason behind it and i want you guys to understand the joins properly and tell me if you don't understand it then i will make some videos in the future but again i don't want to spoon feed you everything so i want you guys to go and figure it out put that in the comment section then we also learned about like using the numbers in the group by and order by and the final thing we learn about this particular function colleagues or colleagues whatever you call so thank you for watching this video i hope you learned something new and if you learned something then don't forget to hit that like button that helps this channel to grow and reach more and more people and also if you are new here then don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want more of this video in the future thank you for watching see you in the next video